We're now in chapter 7, and this is ratios in similar polygons 7.1. And figures that are similar have the same shape but not the same size. We use this tilde symbol for similar in math. And look at their two dresses. Well, they're similar, but they're not the same size, are they? And triangle 1 is similar to triangle 2. They're not the same size. We would write triangle 1 is similar to triangle 2. Look at triangles 3 and 4. Well, 3 is not similar to 4. We have our similar symbol with a slash through it. Similar polygons are used to build models of actual objects. Back in Chapter 8 of Grade 7 Math, we did scale drawings and proportions and ratios. Okay? So hopefully you'll remember some of that. And similar doesn't mean congruent. Similarity means same shape. Congruent means same shape and size. Okay? This is similar polygons. Two polygons are similar polygons if and only if their corresponding angles are congruent and their corresponding side lengths are proportional. And take a look at this diagram. We have A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H and we can see that that's a right angle, that's a right angle just like here and we can see that B is congruent to F, isn't it? And C is congruent to G. So our statements are that for the angles, angle A is congruent to E, they're both right angles. Angle B here is congruent to angle F, we see the congruent marks. Angle C is congruent to angle G, we see the congruent marks. And D is congruent to H, we know they're both right angles. And AB, this length right here that's a six, over EF, that's the corresponding length, would be 6 over 12. And BC, right here, corresponds to FG, so we would have a 5.4 over a 10.8. CD, this one that's a 4, corresponds to GH, that's an 8, so we have 4 eighths. And DA, right here, is a 5, and it corresponds to HE, that's a 10. That's 5 tenths. Every single one of them, when simplified, is a half. A similarity ratio is the ratio of the lengths of the corresponding sides of two similar polygons. So if you look at this little one, it's equilateral, isn't it? All the sides are three, and this one's equilateral. All the sides are six. And the similarity ratio of AB, triangle ABC to triangle DEF, see, and because we said triangle ABC first, we're putting that as the numerator. It's three-sixths, or we can simplify it to one-half. And the similar similarity ratio of triangle DEF, see now that's first, to ABC, we put the DEF value 6 on the top as the numerator to 3 or 2 when we simplify it. Okay? So it's really important the order we put them in. And when the similarity ratio is 1 to 1, well, then the similar polygons are also congruent. In describing similar polygons, we can identify the pairs of congruent angles and corresponding sides. So take a look at the diagram first. We've got this XYZ and we've got this QRS. And we can see that this angle is congruent to this one and this angle is congruent to that one. We see the congruent marks, right? Well, angle Z is congruent to angle R, okay? And angle Y is congruent to angle Q. And by the third angle's theorem, x has to be congruent to s. We've got two angles congruent. They have the same measure. And that means the third one's got to be the same. If we put xy, which is this one that's a 6, over sq, this one that's a 9, the corresponding sides, we'll get 6 over 9, or 2 thirds when we simplify it. When we put yz, that is a 12, over QR, that is an 18, because the corresponding sides, we get a two-thirds when we simplify it. And when we put XZ, this 9, over SR, this 13.5, we get two-thirds. So the similarity ratio is two-thirds, and the triangles are similar. And identifying similar polygons, we can determine whether the polygons are similar. And if they are, we can write the similarity ratio and a similarity statement. So we've got two rectangles. And just from looking at it, we see 
this PQ is a 12 and TU is a 16. This side's a four, that side's a six. And at first glance, you might think that they've got a similarity ratio, but let's compare their angles and side lengths, okay? So rectangles PQRS and TUVW, if we identify the pairs of congruent angles, well, P is congruent to T and Q is congruent to U and R is congruent to V and S is congruent to W. All the angles of a rectangle are right angles and are congruent. So now let's compare the corresponding sides. PQ corresponds to TU. PQ over TU is a 12 over 16, which simplifies to a 3 fourths. If we put TPS, if we put this PS, this 4, over the TW, this 6, we're going to get a 2 thirds. And since the corresponding sides are not proportional, the rectangles are not similar. They would both need to be 3 fourths, or they would both need to be 2 thirds, okay? Now let's take a look at these triangles. We've got triangle ABC and triangle DEF, okay? And we've got congruent marks, so A is congruent to D, and B is congruent to E, and by the third angle's theorem, angle C must be congruent to angle F. So let's compare the corresponding sides. We've got AB that's a 20 that corresponds to DE. This one, that's a 15. When we do 20 over 15 and simplify it, we get 4 thirds. Now BC corresponds to EF. So BC and EF, so we have a 24 over an 18. That simplifies to a 4 thirds. And AC, this 16, corresponds to DF, this 12. And when we simplify that, we get 4 thirds. So the similarity ratio is 4 thirds, and triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Now take a look at this. This is a toy box car for a toy train set. And the toy box car is seven inches long. And it's two inches high. If the actual length of a box car is 50 feet, find the height of the actual box car to the nearest tenth of a foot. So we're gonna let X be the height of the actual box car in feet that we're looking for. And the rectangular model of a box car is similar to the rectangular box car, so the corresponding lengths are proportional. The length of a real boxcar over the length of the toy model should equal the height of a real boxcar over the height of the toy model. And make sure the ratios compare corresponding me measures. We want to do length over length, height over height, okay? Well, the length of the real one is 50 and the feet, and the length of the toy model is 7 inches. And X is the height of the boxcar in feet, and... 2 is the height of the to toy model in inches. I'm going to use cross products property. So 7 times x should equal 50 times 2. 50 times 2 is 100. That means we have 7x equals 100. We could divide both sides by the coefficient 7 and get x is approximately 14.3 feet. So the height of the actual boxcar is about 14.3 feet. Okay? So make sure to list corresponding vertices in the same order. If you're doing A, B, C, you want to do D, E, F. You want them to be in the same order. And the order of the letters of the given polygons help identify corresponding sides and vertices. If we know that A, B, C, D is one figure and E, F, G, H is another figure, if they're similar, then A is going to correspond to E, B is going to correspond to F, C is going to correspond to G, and D is going to correspond to H. Okay? Our next video is dilations and similarity transformations, 7.2a. Then we're going to prove circles are similar. Then we're going to get into angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side similarity. And then we're going to do some proofs with triangles and properties of similarity. Okay, but first we're going to talk about dilations. It's like your pupils dilate when you go into light or dark. They get bigger or smaller. So that's what our next video is. Okay, so I will see you next time. Remember, similar doesn't mean congruent unless the ratio is one to one. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.